All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're doing another install on the Mark VI TDI. Today, we're doing a little bit of some cosmetic stuff. Um, as I teased in one of my previous videos, I mentioned I was gonna be putting something that was in a fairly large box on the car. So today, without further ado, we are going to be installing a Mark VI Golf R front bumper onto the Mark VI TDI today. Um, this is a fairly straightforward install. Nothing super, super crazy. We are just doing a bumper replacement. However, we are going to be replacing the factory fog lights that come on the car with the little LED strips that go on the Mark VI R front bumper that look like this. So instead of having a normal fog light, we do have these. Um, the bumper has been color matched already. This was a factory Volkswagen Mark VI R front bumper. So this is hopefully going to fit absolutely perfectly. But without screwing around too much, we're gonna start with this install. And first things first, we do have to take the stock grill off. So let's pop the hood on the Mark VI and get that bad boy ripped off. So there are four bolts on the top. They're just T25s. Nothing crazy, we'll rip those guys off. Remember to keep all the hardware, of course. The grill, at this point, should be free. So we're just gonna rip up slightly. Get the top undone. And then just kind of slides forward and out. And there is the front grill. Um, I think we're going to be reusing the uh, Volkswagen emblem. When it comes to that, I will show you guys how to get that off, but put that aside for now. And here's an interlude of my dumbass realizing that I needed to take the wheels off, so now I have to put it on the lift. And then if we come over into the fender, we've got one main guy up here. So you wanna get that guy right there. There's another one directly behind that right here. Another one there. And two more down here. You're gonna undo both of those. And those are all T25, so we'll rip those out. And there should just be these guys. That. So there was seven under there all along the bottom chin bit. So like there's this plastic piece and it kind of just went all along the bottom of that. And now the bumper should come off, hypothetically. And before we go ahead and break all of our electrical connectors, let's just undo those. And there we go, bumper is off. And so that is the exposed front end of the Golf. Um, and for those of you that wonder where my intake setup is, this is where my intake is. Spicy little unit. <laughs> All right, Let's see if I can get this thing on without breaking anything. <laughs> So I'm not fully sure where I left off with the new Golf R front bumper on the TDI at this point. Um, Cause as you saw, I was in 
the shop originally installing the bumper, but uh, unfortunately, uh, first time around doing the paint match on the front bumper, it wasn't very close. Um, so it has been more than a few days now since the bumper went back to get repainted. And so it is just kind of bolted to the front of the car right now. We've got a bolt in the fender and then one up uh, behind the grill. Um, grill isn't installed right now because nothing quite fits properly and that's just because um, the foam like crash bar cover or whatever you want to call it that goes behind the bumper isn't the right size. The Golf R1 is a little bit thinner. So we are going to pull the bumper back off right now and put um, or at least take the foam out. I don't think I'm going to be able to shave it down enough to get it to uh, to fit properly. So we're probably just not going to run it all together. Um, I don't recommend doing this at all because obviously it is there for a reason and we don't want to run into any issues if we ever do get into a crash. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take the bumper off again so we can get the grill on. Um, I do have an OEM um, Mark 6R front grill. So it is just gloss black. The emblem is not straight because it is not mounted uh, yet. So we're gonna go ahead. I don't think I'm gonna have to pull the wheels back off. I don't really want to, but we're gonna get the front bumper off and then get it all fitted up and wash the car up and maybe take some B-roll and show you guys the Golf R front end all done up with the lights on and the license plate relocate and everything. So let's get the bumper off and get everything fitted up. Absolutely fantastic now that it's got the grill on and the wheels and everything the car does look Super super sick with the golf R front end on it now. So um, I don't really know what other cosmetic mods I need to do at this point to the golf. I might do um, the side skirts um, for the golf R because we do have the four-door version in North America. We didn't get the two-door um, and I also kind of want to do <laughs> A, uh, a battle arrow wing. I want to do the big chassis mount wing for this car because obviously I am going to try to track this car as much as possible. And then as I mentioned in uh, my other video, we have to put these bad boys in the car next. So we're going to be doing that. But that is, uh, that is about it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so if you are new to the channel and you are not a returning subscriber, uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe, um, drop a comment. And I would like to see a lot of your guys' builds and stuff. If you want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, at TJ Walt, send me your Mark 6s or send me your Volkswagens, your Audis, whatever car you got. Really like to see what, um, what all of my subscribers are driving. But anyways, guys, peace out. I will see you in the next video.